His broad knowledge, leadership skills, and ability to bring people together made him the perfect fit. Managing the Manhattan Project was no small feat. The project involved thousands of scientists, technicians, and workers, all operating under the strictest secrecy. Oppenheimer balanced intense scientific challenges with the pressures of wartime urgency. He wasn't a hands-on experimentalist, but excelled at recognizing important problems and guiding teams toward solutions. His presence was felt everywhere, from the lab benches to the meeting rooms, creating an atmosphere charged with dedication and determination. Oppenheimer was known for his intense focus, sometimes neglecting his own health. Friends worried about his mental well-being as he wrestled with the moral weight of the weapon he was helping to create. During this time, the world was changing rapidly. On December 2, 1942, scientists at the University of Chicago achieved the first controlled nuclear chain reaction, an essential milestone proving that a sustained reaction was possible. Meanwhile, progress at Los Alamos accelerated. Teams developed different bomb designs and refined methods to enrich uranium and produce plutonium. On July 16, 1945, the first ever atomic bomb test, known as the Trinity Test, took place in the New Mexico desert. Codenamed Gadget, the bomb unleashed an explosive power equivalent to about 20,000 tons of TNT. Witnesses described an immense fireball and a mushroom cloud towering 12 kilometers into the sky. The shockwave shattered windows miles away. The success of this test confirmed that the project's efforts had paid off.